I had the opportunity to see the new motorcycle coming from China at the Milan Motorcycle Show. It's a Co 450 Rally model. Honestly, I really like it. The design is modern and I also really like this color combination. The motorcycle caused a lot of dust and rumors. Some praise it and see it as a competitor to Japanese motorcycles, while others say that it is another bad motorcycle that comes from China. It will quickly corrode, crack and will always break down. So I would like to hear your opinion. What do you think about this motorcycle? We cannot say how good and reliable the engine and bike really is, because it takes a few years to show the quality and the problems. As for problems it's nothing to be afraid of, because every brand has its advantages and disadvantages. The only question is whether the problems will be rare or frequent and how big they will be. I tried to get it as much information as possible, from people who already have this motorcycle, and I can say that almost everyone is satisfied and not disappointed that they chose the Cove 450 Rally motorcycle. If you think this is an enduro bike that only has a big tank and rally plastics, I have to disappoint you. Because you will surely be very surprised when you hear how heavy this motorcycle is. The Co 450 Rally weighs 128 kilograms without fuel, and it holds 34 liters of fuel. Now try to calculate how much this motorcycle weighs when it is full of fuel. But if we look at it from another perspective and know that it is a rally motorcycle, then we can say that the weight is not excessive, and that the motorcycle is competitive with others in its rally category. If you are an enduro rider and you expect that you will immediately love this motorcycle, it will not happen. Because the feeling will be that the motorcycle is quite heavy and does not have enough power. I must say right away that you would not misunderstand me. The motorcycle has enough power, but it is not aggressive and strong like on enduro motorcycles. After all, the gearbox is much longer than on the enduro, which greatly affects the response and power of the motorcycle. Plus there is a large amount of fuel that makes the motorcycle very heavy. And we know that weight is a big enemy of motorcycle handling so you can feel it a lot and you have to get used to it. But if you come from the adventure dual sport world, this bike will be very good and perfect for you. I don't think you will need any time to adapt to it, because it behaves literally identically to all dual sport motorcycles. After talking with a couple of riders who have this motorcycle, we came to the conclusion that this 450 rally motorcycle has a very good suspension. Everyone praised the front forks but also the rear shock absorber, which gives us the conclusion that the chassis is also well designed and made because it also affects the feeling of depreciation and how the motorcycle behaves. One big advantage of the Co 450 Rally is that the engine does not have that much power. The first thing is that the motorcycle is much easier to control on the off-road terrain and it will tire you less than you expect. Another advantage of a weaker engine is that the engine wears out less and lasts longer than an engine that is full of power. In my opinion, this machine should last a very long time, because it doesn't have that much power and uses a lot of oil. So you don't have to change the oil often, but also because it uses a lot of oil. It's hard to get the oil dirty and you always have very good lubrication. As I had the opportunity to see, this motorcycle uses large radiators that have fans on them for additional cooling, which is very important in very difficult conditions such as rally races. But that's not all. This motorcycle also has an oil radiator, which maintains the temperature of the oil in the engine so that the oil does not overheat. Because we all know that heat is a very big cause of damage inside the engine. Cove uses Japanese brakes, as you can find on Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki. As for braking and safety, you don't have to worry, it's completely safe and tested. And when it comes to electronics, Cove uses a lot from the European company Bosch. As for the information about the motorcycle, you can see it here, feel free to stop the video. Here you have all the information about motorcycle dimensions, engine characteristics, and motorcycle chassis. To be honest, I am very happy to see new brands in the enduro and adventure world. To all the people who bought this motorcycle, I wish you many kilometers to enjoy with your Cove 450 rally and that you have as few problems with bike as possible. I will make a video later, maybe in a year when people have more experience with this brand. Because I want to share a realistic picture of this brand, I don't want to criticize it or say anything bad because it comes from China. I don't know why most people are like that, but if something comes from China, they must immediately condemn it and say it's not good. But let's be realistic, all our European motorcycles use Chinese parts and we love them. Then why do we hate Chinese motorcycles so much? Does anyone have an answer to that? I know that people are afraid to try a new brand of motorcycle, because it's not just buying a motorcycle and riding it. 
The biggest problem is when something just comes out on the market, you don't know its problems and flaws. What faults will it have and how reliable is that motorcycle? So there is certainly a risk when buying a new brand that just appeared. And besides the risk, there is also the problem of whether Cove will be good and whether they will sell motorcycles in the coming years. What if it happens that Cove stops selling motorcycles? What will you do with your motorcycle and whether it will have any value? There is also a big problem with parts. Since the brand is new, it is difficult to find spare parts. Since we all know about brands like KTM, you have parts at every corner, as many stores as you want. I am sure that Cove is off to a good start, and that he has a great future. But I know and am sure that he needs a lot of years to create trust with people, to create a network of parts sales and support for his customers. Surely many parts are taken from other motorcycles, as we all know that many European brands use the same parts. So I believe that Cove uses a lot of parts from other Chinese motorcycles. So there is always a solution, but I don't think anyone wants to bother with it. And I don't know why it's like that, but most European riders don't want to buy a Chinese motorcycle. Now, is this the reason for politics, or do they have a bad experience with Chinese products? I can understand if the motorcycle is a copy of some European motorcycle, then I probably wouldn't buy it either. What do you think about it? If you want you can leave a comment.